Welcome, welcome everyone to Chess with TV, episode 151. Today is July 9th, 2015, and we're going to get back to the chess. Last episode was 150. We celebrated non-chess. If you missed that episode, be sure to go to youtube.com slash user slash chess with TV, or just surf for chess with on YouTube, and you can go watch it. We played Dominion, which is a card game, and it was fun, but of course it was new for a lot of people. So now we're going to get back into chess. The episode before that, 149, I asked people, what is it you really want to see on Chess Whiz TV? You know, what's interesting to you? Because we played some Atomic. We played the Atomic Accelerator in episode 149. And, you know, it was different than chess, obviously, because Atomic Chess is not chess. And we got into some interesting ideas. You know, we're going to have more tournaments, playing in tournaments, having tournaments that the viewers can play in was one piece of feedback we got. So we'll be sure to do that soon. But another thing that was recommended was anti-chess. Now, anti-chess is definitely not chess. It's a variant where you try to lose all your pieces in order to win, and I'm not very good at anti-chess, but I thought I would grant that request to play some anti-chess today and just see how it goes. So I did some studying, I learned what not to do in anti-chess, and I, I kind of know the basics, but this is definitely going to be educational for me. Hopefully you guys will learn a few things and grow a love for anti-chess if it deserves to be loved, which I am not exactly sure of that. So let's go play right now. Uh, we're on the website lichess.org, that's lichess.org, and I'm creating a game. Uh, variant anti-chess real time. Two two is plenty of time. You don't have to think in anti-chess, right? I'm just kidding. You do need to think, um, but it's not easy to play. So anti-chess is a forced capture game. If you can capture a piece, you must capture it. However, you don't have to capture it if you've got another capture available to you. So if you have like three different captures you can do, you can do any of them. Uh, but what happens, of course, is you start playing a few moves and you're like, oh great, I gotta take that. Oh great, I gotta take that. Oh great, oh great, oh great, oh great, oh great. Oh, oh, oh. And pretty soon you're just like a fish. Ooh, 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 ooh. And he's captured all of his own pieces with your piece. It's obnoxious. So you have to play very, very carefully to not get into that trap. And here's our first game against no other than Rick, Nick, Rick who I've never heard of, but I'm sure he's gonna... He's going to um, defeat me. So e3, I've looked this up and learned it's not a losing opening move, but a lot of games do go like this. e3, forced capture, forced capture, forced capture, forced capture. Now what do I have to do? Take this king. And what happens next? I have to take this pawn. Did I miss something? This looks a little weird. Okay, so this is an opening that Nick Rick has played a lot of times. This is actually forced. Take that, take that, take that, take that. But now I've got a choice. I can take with bishop, take with knight, take with queen, take with king, or knock that knight off the board. Now, an interesting thing about um, this anti-chess is that you do want to be ahead in material. You would think that um, it says you want to lose all your pieces. You want to get started losing them right away. But no, I've learned you do not want to lose all your pieces. Uh, you don't lose most of them because when you're left with just a pawn or two you have very little control over the outcome of the game i think i'll take this with the knight to save my queen you actually do want material especially rooks this is what i learned from um see how bad this is going to get. What I learned from practicing is that rooks are very useful because they just have enough mobility to throw them away easily. And yet this looks like a loss for me though, because after I take this, then he's going to not guard that pawn by moving his rook out. Then I have to take that. And then he's going to throw away all the rest of his stuff. But there's nothing I can do about... Oh, I can take this. Ha ha. Well, I saw I could take it, but what I didn't realize was, oh, never mind. I thought I would have the ability to run out again because he could take me here, but he can also take me here. I don't know if you follow that, but I think I'm just going to lose now taking everything up in here. We'll see how bad it is. We'll see how bad it is. I think it's a forced loss for me because I've taken most of his stuff, but there's a chance it's not. The problem here, I think, is h5, and then I could take that with my queen, and then my queen is on a rampage and won't take him long to lose the rest of his pieces. Um, so I think he can just win here with using h5 as a tool. So I have to take this rook next. I have to. Now he plays h5. Oh, this works too. c6, no, okay, take this. I, how does he lose the c pawn? That's an interesting question. Uh, obviously he's gonna, oh, he's gonna make me take here and then here and then here. I give up. Let's play again, Nick Rick. I missed something. Oh, did I not resign? Oh, no. I didn't resign. And now I could uh, make any move I want. Oh, it doesn't say I resigned, but I really did. Well, that's weird. What's going on with my internet? Let's refresh this page. Um, it says I resigned, which is a weird thing. Totally, I shouldn't have resigned. I thought H5 was going to win. 
Um, but look at this. I could play queen g5. He has to take. Then h4. He has to take. Maybe I've got some chances here. b4. He has to take. And now his pawns are on the run. C3. He has to take. Um, now he's going to take my knight, but I can move it out of the way, right? Well, that was weird. Really weird. I clicked resign and didn't see resign on the screen. And then he made a move that I didn't expect. I think he's not at the board anymore. So let's um, play against Rondep instead. So as you can see, I'm no expert. I basically lost that game from the start, but maybe I will learn something from that game. Let's find out. Um, e3, e6. Rondep is no expert either. You can see he's only 100 points higher than I am. Rondep's a very strong chess player. Fortunately, this is not chess, so we're perfectly safe. I found that taking with the knight I enjoy better. He can throw away his pawn, but now I'm going to lose this knight, which is actually what I want to do, so I'm okay. Let's see what happens next. That was weird. I clicked resign and didn't see the resign stuff. I like to make myself bigger. Whoa, I can do that. Um, how much bigger can I get? It's too big. I don't want to cover up the board, but I do want to be the biggest possible. Most people, most people want that. Um, hey, what if I move the camera? I shouldn't do that. And then when we go full screen, I'm gonna be like, "Hey guys, welcome to Chess TV." I'd rather be in the middle. So um, it's his turn. He's really flummoxed about the fact that I can lose my knight. He can't not guard these pawns at the same time. Time. So. Uh, force that. Now I can move out of the way so he has to take this pawn, but what am I really going to gain from that? Let's lose the bishop first. Bishops are obnoxious. I definitely enjoy not having them. So rook out of the way. He takes me here in blue. Oh, that's cool. He takes me on the blue circle. Then I can't not guard this pawn. Uh, he's saying hi to me. Greets. Let's try this way. I will lose my queen, but he will recapture because I've got some options to take that he's got guarded. I'm getting advice in the chat. Hey, hey, chess whiz, you know what you could do? You could not have that great big door behind you. That's not a door, that's a closet. Um, actually, you don't know if it's a door or a closet, which is kind of cool. Things you don't know. I think h5, because he takes, I take, he takes, h5. I think I can win now, right? He's got two attackers, which will both suicide themselves on this square. And then I've got options. He's attacking f7. I move out of the way. He has to take it. Now, that's not guarded, that's not guarded, but that is. Are you anti chess with now? That's a great question. Uh, okay, I think this is going to be a win for me. I don't have a lot that's guarding other things. Oh, never mind, I didn't see that. Well, take with bishops, okay, right? Oh, I've got such a problem. He pushes, I have to take that. I have to take all this nasty stuff. I'm going to take it all. And I'm super annoyed. I think I'm going to lose now. Wow, that turned around quickly because this rook is just going to destroy him. And I don't want it to, but it will. Um, <clears throat> Kleinwelt would like to point out that even if this is a closet, it is a closet. It is still a door. It's a door to a closet. I can't contradict that. Well, I could contradict it. In fact, I will. That's not a door. It's a refrigerator. OK, I've contradicted it. Uh, but you're right. It's a door. I don't have to tell the truth. It's one of the laws of the internet. You can say whatever you want. I really think I'm going to lose this game, but maybe not. You never know until it's too late. This does not look good, though. These are all forced moves for me. I have to take there. I have to take there. I have to take there. All the stuff that I took, I have to. Uh, because it's a forced capture game. And this is really over. Good game. I was hoping he would play up here uh, because then I take this and he has to take me here and then I'm off and running, kind of. Because bishop out, right? And he has to take that. And then I could just throw away everything to his knight. Well, that was a good game, Rondep. I really felt like I had it and then all of a sudden my rook started owning. I needed to not take your queen, but there was no way to not do that. So is this a forced loss? No. So what do I do differently here? Oh, this is a different game. Uh, I will play... Hmm. 
I'll try b3. How bad could that be, right? It could be forced losing. But that's all. It can't be any worse than that. So I'll try it. How do I take this? With a bishop, I guess? Have to take that? Oh, I bet I lose now. I just get the feeling that this is really bad. Uh, <laughs> no, Rondep destroying me. Um, um, no, no, that's what you have to say as of like two years ago. Uh, eating became om nom. I don't know how that happened. But it did. Everybody om noms now. So I take all this stuff. Oh, I could have taken that. Maybe I'll think about that now. So I take that, then it's rook takes, and then I'm free to make any move I want. Yes! Yes! I have lost my queen. Now what do I do? He's going to take this, forcing me to recapture. He says, oh no, that's right. That's what you should say. Look at that. A free pawn. Doesn't really matter how you capture it, you're going to capture it eventually. I take this, I have to take this. Now you have to take that. Now here's the key move right here. I think c4 and I keep the combo going, but then I not guard e3 and he takes that next. Looking good. Anything else? No, nothing better than this. Okay, so he's gonna have to take this when I move my f pawn. Then he's gonna have to take this. Then he's gonna have to take this. this is looking really good, guys. Go knight, you're so amazing. I'm unguarding that. Some new lingo. After he takes my king, then he'll be looking at this pawn if I move it out of the way. Then I could be safe from that. Or I could just move my knight. He takes my king, then he's going to take f3, then he's going to take my knight, which I will have just moved to d2, then he's going to take my rook, which I will have just moved to b1, then he'll take my bishop, which I will have just moved from this square, then he's going to take um, my pawn, which I will have just moved here, and then he's going to take my rook, which I'll have just moved there, and I'll win. So I need to make a move that doesn't do anything. Oh, this knight. Then I'll move this knight. <laughs> so what move doesn't do anything? this. Watch your time. Uh, watch your time. Because I'm Chess Whiz. Oh no, I'm so stupid. That's guarded. What was I thinking? Now I'm probably going to lose. This game's stupid. This is stupid. Stupid, stupid. Oh, hmm. oh really? You think it was wrong? I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Stupid. Now, of course, I lose, right? Because one wrong move, you deserve to lose. I have to take all this stuff. Oh, I could have taken that in, in two different ways. I wonder if that would have helped. Hey, I'm not required. Oh, never mind. I am required to take that. Now I'm required. Oh, I got some choices. Lose in two different ways. Very freeing to have that possibility. I so had the win, Rondep. I was going to Rondep kick you with my Norris, and now I'm just going to lose. GG. Uh, the resign button doesn't do anything, guys. It doesn't do anything immediately, and then it resigns you. I'll play you again. This time I'm going to win. Wow. Why did I play knight c3? Why didn't I not play knight c3? That would have been so much better. e3, e6, I guess. I guess I'll do that. Okay, now knight takes. See, I'm going to go take this stuff and lose my knight. I'm interested in my own channel. That's the kind of person I am. Let's watch Chess Wiz. Chess Whiz TV on Chess Whiz TV. Mind blown. Loading good. Yeah, I don't want to watch Chess Whiz TV. I want to read the chat. We're playing anti chess today. It's not chess. Why am I not here? Is it because I said I wasn't chess? Because look, there's a problem. I should be there. Guys, we're pulling in 27 viewers. We're pulling in 30 viewers without being advertised anywhere. That's the power of Chess Wiz, so that's pretty nice. Uh, waiting for opponents, so that's good too. But it, clearly it says Chess Wiz playing chess. Oh, I didn't put chess.org in my, in my uh, description. So you guys are the secret fans who know about Chess Wiz TV. My chess. L-I-E chess. Update. I'm so dumb. But I'm only half dumb. 
the other half of me is not dumb. So now I'm going to appear on the front page and the viewers will pour in and they'll be like, what is this? And I will say, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, that's the kind of person I am. Okay, what kind of person am I? A person who gives away everything. I didn't spend 30 seconds. You did. I noticed you don't have any time on your clock. So now i got two choices. I could take that bishop or I could take this queen. Uh, I'm going to go with queen because then I can always throw away my queen too. Hmm. be great to get 97 and rook out of the way after I've taken so his rook plows down here I have to capture now I have choices oh what if I could lose some of this stuff that'd be great what if I take the rook right then he's got no captures except one of these it's gonna take a lot of power though to feed him all of that uh, Meanwhile, I eat all his stuff. So I take his rookie, he has to take my pawn. If he takes his rookie, screwed. So then I take something else, the knight, and then he takes my other pawn. Uh, then I take the pawn, he takes my other pawn. He's gonna eat all this stuff in a row. Oh, cheese is healthy. <coughs> cheese. I agree, and I, my name is not Cheese Whiz. Hey, S09, how did you even find Chess Whiz Tea? I wonder, let's find out, at S0. And hopefully that's enough question marks to get it through the internet. It's like a transaction fee. If you don't put enough question marks in, then the message is delayed. So that kind of speeds it along, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to capture. I'm actually going to just keep taking things along here. <laughs> this is an interesting game. I'm leaving him with pawns because it's hard to do things with pawns. I'm sure to lose this now. I have to play here. Yeah, I lose. Oh, I'm done. I'm not very good at this game. But hey, at least I can get second place. It's not too bad, right? I should play a group game of anti-chess where there's like lots of chess pieces of different colors on the board. And I would probably get last place. So it's a good thing it's just a two-player game here. Um, actually, maybe I'm okay. You blundered now, Ron Depp. LOL. You get second. Okay, are you ready? Watch me lose everything I have. Starting with the bishop. And then the king. Don't forget the king. It's really good to lose to your king. And then the rook. What's he going to make? Something that makes him lose. <laughs> what are you going to make? A rook would lose. A bishop would lose. A knight would lose. A queen would lose. I guess you should make a king, which would lose. Oh well. Detroit Leprechaun searched for horde chess and found chess with TV. That's pretty cool. A king. So a king is going to lose. Watch me show you how it loses. First I play that. Then I play that. Ah, <laughs> uh, then I play that. Two seconds. Then I play that. Oh, one second. And then I play that. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know if that was correct. Um, I'm really interested. I mean, maybe he could not he avoid losing here. Because in this position, he could hang around back here. Oh, eventually he'll lose. He has to go for it. Nice. Too bad it's casual. Too bad it's casual. This calls for the interrobang. Um, interrobang. Interrobang. I need that. I should add this to a keyboard macro. Interrobang to you? What? Why is it casual? Decline. I want to play rated games. I'm going to play rated games, not wasting my time with casual. Okay, my rating is only 1630, but that's because it's only anti chess. We'll do our best. Yes, in, uh, in anti chess, kings are not cool. They're just like other pieces. And in anti chess, you can lose your king and still win the game. In fact, you have to lose your king to win the game. It's pretty weird. Let's go. 
Let's go, Wendy Chess, come on. I feel so off center. Gotta sit in front of this closet. There we go. Hey guys, welcome to Chess Whiz TV episode 151. Here's a little bit of trivia for you. Did you know there have been 150 episodes previous to this episode? Oh uh, yeah, that would explain why this is number 151. That is a lot of chess, man. We've been playing chess since 2014. It <laughs> doesn't seem very long ago if you're watching live, but if you're on YouTube in 2021, that is seven years ago. I don't know if I'm making sense, but so far I just don't want to lose this. Don't want to lose this game. What do I capture with? A bishop. Bishop. I don't take that knight. I take that with a bishop. And then the right move is... Yes, this is much better. Now I take this. Oh, this is interesting. I hope he's memorized this line. Now I take this, because this is all guarded over here. Oh no, that's a good move. No, then I take the knight, then he gets away. No. I'm going to lose. Oh, oh, knight a6. Knight a6 was better. Um, that says knight a6. Because I would take here he takes, I would take the knight, he runs away, I eat everything. But this is way better for me. I can lose my... He's an incessant high sayer. I can lose my bishop. What else can I lose? I could lose a lot of things. <laughs> Where's my knight? It's a knight. You didn't move your knight to the proper square. That's why you're losing. I'm thinking about bishop a5, but it's not leading goo to a win goo. That's Korean. It means leading to a win. Oh, knight a6 was illegal. Point. Goog point. <laughs> oh. Otherwise, very strong. I totally agree. I overlooked that one bit of detail. So here's my strat. Lose my queen, then lose my king, and then win. I think it could work. Could this be a problem? Stalemate, chess whiz wins. Variant ending, white is victorious. Oh good, you win when stalemate. Yes, that was the winning move. Queen d5, very hard to find, but it maneuvers the rook away from this a file, which was useless because I had two things guarding a3, I had the knight and the pawn. So if I threw one on there, the other one would be guarding it, obnoxious. Queen a5, king d1 was the winning sequence. And now I've stolen rating points from Rondep, the first rated game, and of course I win it. Let's play again. All right. <clears throat> Hey Wiz says Sakramas. Nice name. Nice name. I'm I'm going with the knight. Would you like to part part would you like to participate? <laughs> Man, are you trying to make me not name on my tongue in a knot here? Is this yellow leather time? Yellow leather, yellow leather, yellow leather. New unique New York, unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. Participate. Would you like to participate? <laughs> in my Twitch Invitational Chess Tournament. I don't know. Uh, I need you to find participate. <laughs> Otherwise, it's very difficult to uh, know if I want to do that. Seems bad. So how do I win this game? I remember how not to win, but I don't remember how to win. I guess I'll try bringing my bishop here. <laughs> Have we played this game before? I'm going to take his rook. I'm going to do it. Oh, and then I take his queen next. I don't want to do that. LM Assius can't hear you, Rondep, because this is the private chat. Hmm. I have one move here before he takes that I could do something really cool. I mean, I could play queen f6, something like that. Is that a good idea? It's probably stupid. You want to keep your pieces, not just throw them away. I could play rook b8. That's another alternative. In fact, I'll make that a different color. Hey, colors. Be different colors. There we go. <laughs> um, hold shift when right clicking to make red colors. So then he takes, but then I got a mad mass of things guarding here. Let's try that. Didn't I like almost win this game? If I remember correctly, we've played this game before. to participate right now. 
participate. Oh, um, what is a doula? I think that is the answer. <laughs> the question, define participate. Participate. The answer, what is a doula? I think that makes sense to me. I should try to lose all my pieces now. First, I'll lose that one. This looks so familiar, but it's different. Now, I'll lose that one. Please type Kappa and Doggy. Kappa and Doggy. I don't know. I'm disobeying you. So 12 seconds left for the whole game. Seems reasonable. Take my stuff. Not here. <laughs> not here. No there. You put the space in the wrong place. Didn't you mean to say no there and you said not here? You're not making sense to me. So this is a mad mutual destruction game. Um, it's mad because I'm mad about it. <clears throat> I don't dare take his queen because then my queen will crush him which you don't want you don't want to crush your opponent in anti-chess I'll just keep taking things oh no uh oh definitely seems to be a loss here with bishop h6 oh what a blunt oh, never mind not a blunder. Rondep wins again. I'm having trouble with this mutual destruction thing. So when my queen is and his queen and that's when I lose. You know what I mean? Suddenly I find that there is enough pound to go all around. I don't know how I lose this. Um, so there's a tournament for streamers and I'm being told about it in the chat. And there's a link, and I just love clicking links from random strangers on the internet because I love viruses. So I click those and get my daily dose. It's pretty nice. What should I destroy now? I guess I'll play B3. I don't know if it's a forced loss, but we'll find out. Um, actually, don't want to click your link. I thought about it again, and I changed my mind. Does this seem familiar? It seems familiar. Bishop takes. If A5, then you lose guys, right? Did we, did we learn that? Because I take rook takes, then he takes my a pawn, then he, take, he takes everything. Oh, I lose this game. <laughs> I just played this game. So stupid when you just play the same. Hmm. Didn't we just have this game? <laughs> when you lose the same game twice in a row, like the exact same, this happens in loser's chess a lot more than winner's chess. In regular chess, you say, I'd like to not make that losing move, but in loser's chess, you make that losing move every game. Just beat me quicker. I should trust postimage.com? Why would I trust that? Postimage.org. Don't trust those domains because someone might have hacked into your computer and changed your host's file so that the DNS resolution of that domain resolves to an attacker's website where he quickly loads malware onto your computer. Everyone knows the post image is safe, except me, because I'm on a compromised machine. Fine, I'll click it. I clicked it. Hmm. So who's playing in this tournament? Uh, seven people, but Chess was not one of them. Interesting. I hope he messes up. I don't think I'm going to participate participate in your tournament, Sacramas. I appreciate it, but my show is unique. And one of the things that unique is unique is unique about it is that I don't participate in your tournament. And that's different than the other shows. Like Zug Attic, he's participating. See the difference there? Zug Attic participating, Chesswiz not participating. They're totally different. Um, I hope you can understand that. If you can't, I recommend having it translated into your native language. I definitely lose this. Come on, Ron, that beat me faster. Beat me. <coughs> Fine, I just give up. I don't want to see rook b8 and then 
and then whatever you're going to do with your stuff. I don't want to do it. No, desktop. Guys, you just see that I have LinkPad 4. That's not okay. Okay, one more game, but this game will be different. I'll win. Smash my keyboard. Smash it. Just smash it right now. Don't stop smashing it. Just keep smashing it. Should I play that opening that he plays? No, I'm always playing E6. It's better because I lose when I play E6. This, this opening is good, guys. You can lose with this opening. I don't know any anti-chess theory, and this makes it hard. But Rondep doesn't either. Clearly, he's just 1741, um, which is going up because he's playing me. But that's not like... 3,000. It's not like he's an like anti-chess grandmaster, which is a thing. It's from the, it's from the FIDA. It's from FIDA. <laughs> That's the International Organization of Anti-Chess. What's wrong with my space bar? Put two spaces in there. Uh, it's okay there. Huh, interesting. I'll just send him that message so he's confused. Like, oh, it's numbers! Ah, queen a4, uh, which is illegal. See, I would make him make an illegal move with my numbers. It could happen. I think you forfeit if you make an illegal move. I have played in over-the-board blitz tournaments where an illegal move is a forfeiture. It's like game over. So when you check the guy, you do not say check. And you do not say check, which is what you do in an over-the-board tournament usually. You don't say check either. Instead, you just wait quietly. And then he moves his bishop. You're like, oh, fates for the king, man. I think that bishop move was illegal. And I enjoyed the game. Want to play again? That's what you do over the board. And it doesn't even have to be uh, a check. Like, for example, I was playing a game. This was at the National Chess Tournament in the United States. I think I was in, like, 7th or 8th grade. And this guy moved his knight from f3 to h5. In one move, his knight was like... And I was like, dude, knights don't move like that. Actually, I wasn't because I was in 8th grade. I didn't know the word dude. And what do you know? I just won right there. I was like, Knight, knights are not bishops. And he said, okay, uh, I didn't mean to do that. I was like, good, but I don't care. I win. And he was like, good game. Let's try this move. <laughs> it happens. So internet chess is much different. <laughs> totally is. So I'm attacking a bunch of his things, but they're guarded and he can't not guard them. See, this is so guarded. This is so guarded. I'm completely safe. In, in the sense that I will lose my things. It's pretty good. I'm trying to reach out here, but it's confusulate, confusulating me. Uh, okay, this is bad after all. I changed my mind, it's bad. Very bad, V bad. Let's lose the bishop first. And then let's lose the queen. No? Yes! Lose the queen. And then you can take this, which can't be not guarded. Oh, it can with knight. Ooh. This is bad. Knight a3, I have to take here. Then the knight moves, and I have to take here, and it gets worse from there. I think he just beat me with knight b5 now. No, Rondep, you're so smart. Detroit Leprechaun wants to know what are those. So difficult. So question. Uh, which one should I take? This is like kicking in the back seat, kicking, kicking in the back seat. I can't believe I quoted Rebecca Black incorrectly. I'd much rather kick it in the back seat. Okay, I'll take all your things. Not that I want to, but I will. So Detroit Leprechaun wants to know what are those. I don't have a lot of context for that question. Yeah, hey, I might be okay. I might win this game, guys. Those pawns look like they're guarding each other to me. As soon as one moves, the other will guard it. I am winning. Rondep's going to Rondep out of time right now. Come on, Rondep. Do it. Watch me win. Okay, I lose that. Then I lose that. Then I go there. What was I thinking? I'm a stupid guy. Stupid, stupid guy. I cannot even play moves in order. I was going to play g6 first, then when he took, then I could play here, and then all he could do is push g7. Right? 
right? Of course, I wish I could make that move go back in time. Um, and then I would probably still lose. But then I throw my rare up, he takes, throw away my king, he takes, and then I've got a lot of pawns, he's promoted two things. I would probably still lose, but this is way worse. This is so bad. Uh, GG. He's got crying faces, but I can outdo him with the longest crying face you've ever seen. It has to be a semicolon, because this winking part, see? See, he's using colons. That's not true crying. The winking cry is much sadder. <laughs> Fine, I'll play you again. I want some of those rating points back. Um, I'm not very in tune with the tweetosphere. I can't dis disagree with that. I can't. I tried and couldn't, so I, I totally agree. Tweetosphere and I are not in tune. I'm not going to play b3 because I lose every game with that move. Let's try... Let's try 9 of 3. How bad could it be, right? It's bad. It's really bad, but when my knights get here, then I'll be fine. No, I lose. No, I lose already because bishop... Yep, and then, and then that one's not guarded by the queen. I thought it would be, but he found queen h4. Brilliancy. Queen h4 saved him. Let me draw that in blue. Saved him from guarding the c7 square. Of course, I'm annoyed, but that's part of life, being annoyed. Propose a take back. Oh, I should have done that. I should have proposed a take back to you, Rondep. That button right there. Should I change your name? Because I think you're a little bit more like Ronderp. I hope that's what you meant. You just mistyped it. How do I not lose? Do I take the king or the rook? Which one doesn't lose? Oh, it's a trick question. Trick question because they both lose. But this seems safer because the knight can't take anything and the other knight. It's the other knight's turn to go on a rampage. Whereas if I took the king, I would then take the g7 pawn, which it, apparently I'm about to do. But... see how it goes. Then I take the king. It's going to be bad. But can he really control destiny? Can he really control his own future? He might have a heart attack and run out of time. I'm starting to think he will. <clears throat> so based on that assumption, this is perfectly safe. Guys, are you learning what not to do in loser's chess? It's like when there's 20 different options, 19 of them lose, and so does the 20th. Loser's chess is really hard. This is forced. This is forced. This is forced. This is for. Oh, I think he's going to have trouble with this pawn. No, he's not because my queen's guarding that. No. This is forced. This is forced. This is forced. This is forced. Take, h5, take. I'm not going to resign because that other game I went to resign and he played a move that didn't win just as I had clicked resign. That annoyed me, so I refused to resign. Plus, this could be his moment of heart attack. Maybe he's having a stroke in his left brain, which would impact his chest a lot more than his right brain, I'm sure. Hey, what a blunder you just made. You're supposed to play h5. Are you trying to make things tricky? h5, I take with queen, and then you win. But this move... Clearly, it's not clear. You have one good move here. I think you must be thinking about knight g5, but I disagree. I have other options. I could play queen f3. So what I'm thinking about right now is queen f3. Uh, take, take, push, and I got plenty of time before the pawn arrives here. By then, I can have something that it, that, that it takes. Uh, I I'd probably do that with my rook. This is not chess. <laughs> not moving at all. It's not my good move. I'm thinking about knight g5. He takes. Then what do I play, right? Because he's going to push when I take it. I lose. So I'm going to try queen f3. <laughs> and then his pawn has a couple of moves. I got some time to figure something out. I need some flexibility here. The 
This should help because now I can move my bishop here in one move. Lose my king. Let's try this. What's he going to make? I play that so that my pieces are guarding less pieces. Because sitting sitting back here, I had a pawn guarding it, a pawn guarding it, and a bishop guarding it. That'd be tough to deal with. Let's see how this goes. I have four seconds. Take my stuff. Oh! Oh! And now he has me a bunch of time. Okay, so I thought he had to take my king, or at least this pawn, but certainly not this pawn. Thanks for all the time. Stop it. Stop it. You can't add me any more time. The game's over. GG. Oh. Well, that's stupid. What could I do? I can't do anything. So I guess I had to play king f1 here. Um, because then he has to take that. And then, well, he promotes to a king, right? It can't go well. Then I could play, then I could play e4. Take, take, take. I've got, and I'm on a roll. I push here, I push here. He takes all this stuff. Then I move the bishop here. He takes that. Then I'm like, oh, and you take that, and you take that. And then I win. Probably. Oh, of course, I'm always about to win. But if he had just played h5 instead of e4, he wants to play casual. He wants to play one minute game. I don't know, Ron Derp. I don't know. You keep winning. Stalemate is a win for the side that can't move. That's the problem. One minute, loser's chess. Lose all your pieces to win, win all your pieces to lose, and he's not moving. Let's uncheck the chat box so we don't get distracted. Oh, that's pretty nice. Now let's put it back. One minute game, no delay. Um, let's try this way. I haven't played this before. You're crazy. <laughs> this could work. This could work. I think I can win this. Whoa, didn't see that coming. I have to take that. No, that's very bad. Worse than I thought. Now I'll eat up all this stuff. Very simple how he wins this now. Right? He just loses his knights, he loses his everything else. And he loses everything up in here. Lose, 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 lose. I resign! Man, bishop takes e1. Fine, I'll play you again. Okay, okay. Focus, chess whiz. Focus on this game, which is not chess. I want to see some winning right here. I also want to see some chess with TV. So if you want. Look at that. I'm truncated. It's a bunch of ellipses right there. Is it just one ellipsis? It's just one ellipsis, and I'm annoyed. No one can see that this is not chess. Get rid of this. The Avnika open. Just get rid of it. it. It shouldn't be underneath me. It should be below me. Does that make any sense? Uh, uh, <laughs> I have to take something. Oh. And now... I'll take you. The rooks are coming. Apparently. This could work. This is my brilliant idea. Whether knight or bishop takes, I get some crushing moves. Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. No, there was better. There was better, now there's worse. Oh, this works. No, it doesn't. It's a good work. 19 seconds. Bring me that. Oh, now I'm going to take it all. No, he should have taken this. I pre move then this. I take this, you know, all that stuff. And then the root penetrates. This is much better for me. I'll have to take here. This looks good for me. How do I lose my knight? Should be able to lose this knight. Yeah. 
Yes, Chess was so smart. He loses his knight now. Great work, White Offers Draw. Chess Biz wins at Loser's Chess. You know what that means? I'm the best loser, guys. Face punch. Um, room darkening face punch, by the way. Look how dark the room is getting. That's because of the face punch. Yes. GX2. Yes, that's G times 2, also known as GG. Ooh, we should rename, we should rename this show, according to Detroit. We should rename it to Ronderp, because he's actually the winner of this show. Um, but no, I just won that game, so I'm the winner. Uh, one minute to play all my moves? No problem. I will play um, the winning move. Chess is not so not smart. That's probably a virus if I click on that. Is this, how bad can this be? I think this is good. Right? Look at that. Rook B1. Just giving me a lot of power. A lot of flexibility. A lot of mobility. No, 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 I'm taking everything. Oh, never mind. He's taking everything. You're going to lose now, man. Never mind. If I hear, it's always never mind, isn't it? You just never know what's going to happen. But I think what's going to happen right now is I'm going to win. This looks pretty good for me. What's going on? What? What? <laughs> I thought I lost my king. Now I'm going to lose. No, I can win this. You will never not capture my king. I have to take here. Wait, don't pre-move anything. Don't be stupid. Nine seconds left. No, don't lose. Chess whiz. Seven seconds. What happened? How do I still have my king? I forgot. Kings matter. Kings? How can you take kings? See, pre-move here. Because he's going to need to pre-move everything. Because time's running out. He's going to lose. My king is too good for him. This could work. He says wrong. He spent all his time typing, typing the word wrong, and now he's going to run out of time. Oh, Rondep, you shouldn't have typed wrong. That was wrong. Key, key, key. I'll laugh like a Korean. <clears throat> Hello, Kobumbo. Welcome to Chess with TV, episode 151. This is not chess, but it's fun. For now, I'll be taking that. This looks good. What if b5? Huh. What if c5? That's probably better. I won't type wrong anymore. We're typing wrong now. <laughs> Here. The idea is lose my queen so that I can play d6, and when he takes it, it's not guarded. And then king e7, he takes it, it's not guarded. Oh, it is guarded. Well, the idea is wrong, but anyway, you get the idea of the idea, which is all this stuff without the queen. So I figure my queen can take so much here that it's certain to be lost. Let's try this way. I'm certain to lose my queen. And that could come in handy someday. That didn't work. Not at all. Oh, this is really bad. Now I'm gonna lose. This is so. Oh, okay. You take there. Now I have to take here. Now you. Twelve seconds. You take there. I have to take here. You take there. You have to take me. Then I will take you here. Nope. Now I have to take you. Now I have to take you. Five seconds. Now I have to take you. Now I have to take you. Now I have to take you. And now I move here, which loses. But I had a better move. He's laughing in Korean. No! My better move was rook here. Let's go to the analysis board, because I'm bored. Okay, so rook here, then he pushes, and then rook here, then he takes, and then, 
and then knight here and he takes no matter what he makes i win if he makes a king or bishop or a queen i move here with my bishop if he makes a rook i move here with my bishop and if he makes a knight then i win by moving uh actually i would run out of time at this point because i had like two seconds for all, the, all of my moves how do i win this position this is very i move here and now wherever he moves I move where he was, and he takes me. Ta-da! Forced win! Um, because Chess is just so good at anti-chess, he can find forced wins in games that he lost. Um, was that fun? Was that fun, guys? Did you enjoy Chess Wiz losing that game? I th These are fast time controls. GGS. It's hard to play one minute for anti. But I found someone who's about my level. He wins every game, but other than that, you know, we got close games. Why is this a casual? Oh, never mind. It's casual. I want to play rated. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you, Rhonda. I want to play rated anti-chess. <clears throat> hmm. uh, anti-chess is not chess. That's why this is called not chess. I'm fighting Rhonda again, but this time it's rated. E3. Long time no C. Go a Y. I'm not going to type go away. That would be rude. I'm never rude. At least I can't remember when I was rude, but maybe I was rude and don't remember. So the wrong move is bishop b3. I, I have a hard time with b3 because bishop a4, and I can take it. I don't like that, but b4 looks good. Now, don't play the wrong move. Play only the right move here. Um, if knight a3 takes, takes, he's got c5. He's got king f8 instead of c5. No... That doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look very good. You can't throw his queen away in one move. Let's try it. Let's just explore this forced loss right here. I'd like to say, I'd like to say something right now. Shout out to X-Ray LX. Hope your speakers are okay. This should be good. Now, wherever he goes with queen, I take it. Oh, well, what if he doesn't go anywhere with queen? What then? I don't know. I think I lose. Uh, I think I lose? I was dumb. Move so fast, move so bad, and I just lose. <laughs> that was fun. Wasn't that fun blowing your speakers out and making the world's biggest chess with face? I used to do that a lot more, and then I stopped doing it so that it would be a bigger surprise when I did it. Um, but bit large chess whiz. What was it called? Something chess whiz. Huge chess whiz? Something chess whiz. Yes, I'm not going to lose. Well, I used to do it a lot. <clears throat> People want shout outs now, but I just can't shout out all you guys. There's like 60 of you. Oh, I do lose. That was a good move. Didn't anticipate you making any good moves. Um, shout out to Lilk Kalf. Lilk Kalf. Kalf. His name has a K followed by a C. That's very rare. Most words have C followed by K. So you can imagine why I might be confused. I lose this game. Shout out to him. Shout out also to. Hey, that was the wrong move again. Now I can win, right? He's adding me time so I can find the win. Uh, problems. There's problems. If I don't move my king, then when he plays c3, I have to take him. So I move my king. When I move my king, he plays c3. Then I need him to capture something next move. I can't move anything to this square, so it needs to be to this square. But then when he captures, I take him because I can't move my king anywhere that doesn't guard where the king is now. Therefore, I lose. Well, that's a sad conclusion. Rondep, so weird. Rondep, you're really weird. Uh, at least we're playing rated, so I'm not totally wasting my time with you. Rondep, you should probably come on the show with like a webcam and like a microphone so that you can. Oh, King C1, King B2. Analysis board! And what? Can I win this? 
What does he make? It's so confusing. And then I move here. Brilliant. Um, and he's like, ah, where do I go? Wherever I go, he can move where I can take him. And I go here. He's like, no. Anywhere I move, he can lose himself to me. Except for there. And I go here. No. And I go here. I win. Oh, Rondep, I could have beat you. Maybe. If you promote it to a knight, I don't even sure what to think. But that was interesting. Loser's chess is weird. Really weird. <clears throat> it's kind of like Rondep. Let's play again. Leave this page. Stay on this page. Refresh this page. Reload this page. Rematch this page. Rematch offer sent. Hang on. Yes. You are losing. See how you spell losing there? See L-O-S? L-O-S? L-O-S-I-N-G? That is not loosing, which means to release or to cut. If it's a string and you loosed the string, then you have cut and released the string, right? To loose means to free up. If you're wearing something that's too tight, maybe you should loosen. You know what I mean? It's different than losing, which has only one O and definitely has a lot of I's in it. I'm going to play his opening. What does he play here? I always forget. Always. Always, always forget what, I, what he plays. Let's try a move. Let's try knight. Oh, that's the wrong move. No, I'm going to lose now. Oh, it was just so horrible. I'm going to lose for sure. But what if knight captures? What if king captures? Okay, now no one has ever explored this position. So how could I lose this position? Certainly not. King d7 looks very strong. For those of you just tuning in, this is not chess. Don't worry. If you lose all your pieces, that's how you win. When one side can't move, it is a win for the side that can't move. And loser's chess. In anti-chess, loser's chess might not be different. Might also be different. However, in this chess, if you lose all your pieces, you win. And if you <laughs> can't move, then you win. And if it's your turn, you know what I mean? Good. This is the last game. So I'm going to play super. Rondette. <laughs> You're so strange. <laughs> You're like the strangest person I've met who isn't me. Where do I move? Since I have 90 seconds, and this is the final game of the show, I need to be really smart, like mind-blowingly smart here, like like even smarter than I usually am. That's how smart I need to be. Very, very smart. How do I like free up my pieces a little? How do I not lose? That's another way to put it. I'm not sure. If I angle my head, then it looks the same. Same thing with the other way. Uh, maybe I shouldn't move. Can you pass in this game? <laughs> I almost played g4. Seems good. Can't bring out my pieces without losing. Definitely not bishop here. Well, I'm going to run out of time, so let's play. Let's play the right move here. Um, that's my move. I hope you like it. How did you spell Detroit Leprechaun? That's amazing. Are we okay? Are we not losing? Gotta play super smart. It's final game. Gotta win this. Gotta win. It's rated also, which is pretty unusual for this guy. Um, throw away the bishop. This could work. What does he take? Do I take that? No. Throw away that. Now I take that. Keep my queen. Nine seconds. Come on, smart, be really smart. Exceedingly smart is occurring now. Well, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. When I take this, then I'll just eat all his pawns and lose. Um, no, I shouldn't have done that. I should take this first. Right? 
doesn't make a difference. Whenever I throw in the queen move, he's just going to recapture me and wreak havoc in that order. Now I'm horribly lost because I have to take all this stuff one at a time. Meanwhile, he arranges his remaining pieces in such a way that I lose. You're pretty good, Rondep. You do have a problem. You're guarding this twice. this work? It's too complicated for me. Maybe it will work. Six seconds is plenty of time. I'm getting two seconds every move. Come on, come on, Chesmith, you can do it. I hope all of you guys are rooting for me right now, because I am. This could work. I need to get his rook to the back rank with something weird, and then he takes all this stuff. Right? This could work. He's got to think now. I think he messed up. I think he had a much easier win. Instead of this hard win that he's having right now. He's having a lose, that's what he's having. I'm gonna make you loose. Um, uh, <laughs> two seconds. I don't think that was right. Maybe I can still win. What's he gonna do? He just moves his rook, right? out of time please no I don't think I had a win I think that King d2 is just brilliant if he plays d4 then I win um, I take it rook takes and King d8 exclaim he has to take that and he cleans up all the stuff and if he plays f3 then I win with take he takes with rook and then King e8 exclaim and then he has to take my king and eat it all up again but King d2 so good Wow, GGS stands for gzz. Wow, and I don't know what to do except lose in this position. I mean, queen takes clearly a loss after the rook moves, and if rook takes, if rook takes, that's not any better. He can very calmly just move his rook, I take, and then, you know, just lose his pawn, and then lose his rook. He just wins. He just wins. Oh, well, at least I got second place. That was pretty fun. So what's on next after this is um, Chess was Arcade programming, but there's going to be a short intermission there. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can jump over to that right now, but you probably don't want to because you're a chess player, and that's kind of a programming audience. But if you're also interested in what I'm working on in Chess was Arcade, which is a game called Uprising, you can check that out. And if you ever do open up one of those videos and you're like, where's the chess, man? Well, let me help you out. There's no chess in it. So I just leave the video right away and don't waste your time. I appreciate the games with Rondep. Uh, I think those were fun. I'm going to have to tell him good games. Sorry, got to go. Eat food. It's a common need for humans. So because I need to do that, I'm not going to play. GGS, thanks. Oh, my space bar's not working. I wonder if you can send me the spaces can but you can include an underscore but it trims out the spaces that's terrible uh, and you can't send another underscore because of the spam filter there's two messages in a row you can't send out interesting things about this website so hope you enjoyed the show tuesdays thursdays at 6 p.m gmt this has been chess TV. thanks for watching